Some of us stop right when we are supposed to. Some of us, well, we speed right through them, but sometimes we don't have the option. Some yellow lights are too short. We found that was the case in Hernando County. So we decided to investigate other intersections throughout the Bay Area, and you won't believe what we found. Proof of intentionally shortening the length of yellow lights, and that, of course, creates more tickets. And as 10 News investigator Noah Pransky tells us tonight, it is costing you innocent drivers. Just how much is half a second? It's not long enough to grab a bite to eat, make a photocopy, or even send a text. But half a second is much more significant when you're behind the wheel and the light turns red too fast. The amount of that half second cost Floridians $50 million last year. Or in the case of Shirley Nagel from Port Ritchie, $158. I never thought of such a thing that I was doing anything wrong. Nagel, who retired to Pasco County almost 25 years ago, was caught by one of US 19's red light cameras this spring. For less than half a second made the difference in going about her Sunday afternoon and having to empty out her wallet. The law says you're in violation if you enter the intersection even a split second after the yellow light ends, which to Shirley was simply the time it took to be safe. I don't think anyone can make a quick decision like that. But as the 10 News investigators found out, local cities, counties, and the state are taking advantage of shorter yellow lights to ticket more drivers. In some instances, twice as many. It's terrible. I think they're cheating the people. Yellow light times are calculated by a formula that takes into account things like reaction time and the size of an intersection. But ultimately, it just comes down to how fast you're driving. Florida had a rule that said the length of a yellow light should either be based on the speed limit or how fast drivers were actually going in that area, whichever was greater. But 10 News found out that the Florida Department of Transportation erased those three little words in 2011. That meant shorter yellow lights and more tickets for you. It appears it's a move designed to create more citations. Not correct. <laughs> Not correct. FDOT's traffic operations engineer Mark Wilson says his agency would have no motivation to try and trap motorists. But the state of Florida nets $83 on every $158 citation. The rest is split between cities, counties, and the camera company. Last year, red light cameras in Florida generated more than $100 million in revenue, half of it from those shorter yellow lights. We're not telling them that they have to shorten the yellow lights. We have not said that. But we produced the emails from an FDOT engineer to Pasco County officials mandating any 4.5 second yellows are changed to 4.3 seconds. Those are minimums. And so some of them, the engineer said, well, it's got to be that exact number. That's not true. It has to be at least that number. While it may be a minimum, I mean, you have an FDOT employee telling municipalities here to shorten their yellow lights. And he did that based on his understanding at the time. Red light cameras are a for-profit business between cities and camera uh, companies and sometimes the state, as in Florida. James Walker is with the nonprofit National Motorists Association. He says Florida is issuing thousands of tickets a day to people who simply roll through right turns or just run out of time going straight. I think it's totally about money. I think it's immoral. You're basically punishing safe drivers with deliberately improper engineering. Walker says longer yellow lights would make things safer. He says adding just a half second to yellow intervals would give well-intended drivers more time to stop. Local cities in the state are also ignoring federal guidelines that suggest adding an extra half second above the minimum whenever a lot of trucks or elderly drivers are present. US 19 has lots of both. And we found other red light camera intersections with problems too. In Tampa, the yellow lights at Hillsborough in Nebraska and 50th at Adamo both change faster than the state allows. In Valrico, Hillsborough County improperly shortened the yellows on Bell Shoals Road. And both St. Pete and Oldsmar learned that they were issuing citations for 158 bucks a pop at intersections where the yellow intervals were too short. They've since fixed the timings, but victims of the short yellows were never notified and never refunded their money. When Oldsmar lengthened the yellow light at Tampa Road and State Street, tickets plummeted by 90 percent. I don't think our citizens should be penalized for yellow lights that have been uh, artificially reduced. State Senator Jeff Brand just tweaked a few red light camera regulations in the closing moments of this year's session, but he couldn't change the length of yellow lights. Why? You can thank red light camera company American Traffic Solutions. 10 News found they've donated more than half a million dollars to political campaigns in Florida alone and upwards of a million dollars lobbying. 
Of course, American Traffic Solutions and their paid lobbyists can't do it alone. They got help this year from State Senator Jeff Clements, a Lake Worth Democrat who had long supported and benefited from ATS. What do you tell to the people who say campaign contributions get a legislator's ear? Yeah, uh, I, I think that there's some truth to that. But I will also tell you that I supported red light traffic cameras when I was the mayor of a city. Um, long before I ever received a, a, a campaign contributions. Clemens says drivers would just get used to the longer yellows over time and keep speeding through intersections. It's the same talking points the red light camera companies use themselves. Over time, drivers get used to the change and we've seen those, those violations steadily increase. The American Traffic Solutions spokesperson, Charles Torito. What is all the lobbying money for? Are you buying influence in Tallahassee? Not, not, not at all. What we're trying to do um, is educate um, the legislature and share with them the facts about not only the safety benefits, um, but the economic benefits that cameras provide. But those benefits come at a price for local drivers like Shirley Nagel. I'm not a lawbreaker. I try not to be. FDOT reminds us that they don't issue red light camera citations. Each one is confirmed by a police officer in each individual community. FDOT also says they're now considering raising the yellow light minimums by a third of a second across the state. It would allow drivers, especially Florida's aging population, more time to react. So, Reg Mel, we will be keeping a very close eye wow. on these issues. Now, these short yellows aren't just cleaning out wallets. They're also making the intersections did you find them making them more dangerous? You know, there's a lot of research to suggest that the shorter the yellow, the less reaction time someone has to either decide to go through or hit their brakes. Less reaction time, more panic decisions. More mm -hmm. panic decisions, conceivably, more rear-end collisions. Mm -hmm. Okay, the big question, Noah, if somebody thinks they're a victim of a very short yellow, what do they do? The bad news is there really isn't much you can do other than go to court and contest mm -hmm. it. There is no automatic get out of jail free. You must go to court and in the process of appealing right now, you will see that citation fine increase just by simply going to court. So if you have the evidence to go, mm -hmm. and we're presenting a lot of that tonight right. and on our website, go Arm to WTSP.com. Yeah. yeah, we're hoping we're giving you the information. If you were an innocent victim of this, that hopefully you'll be able to beat it. Go to WTSP.com. You can always search for the investigator page and we're putting a lot of information up there that hopefully can help you. Now, there are likely some other changes coming to the red light camera program in Florida. There's a bill sitting on Governor Scott's desk right now that will provide a little more leniency for drivers who are ticketed. It would eliminate a lot of rolling right on red tickets, which currently make up a large portion of the citations. It would create a local magistrate that you can quickly appeal your ticket to. But one potentially bad thing in this bill, if you challenge your ticket and lose, your fines could skyrocket from 264 bucks to 408 bucks out for a single violation. These changes would go into effect summer 2014. Melanie? That almost doubles. All right, Noah, keep us posted on it.